hi everyone in this video i am going to show you how to make a hypnotizing illusion for making that we need to first change the size of the canvas so start with that i want it to be 700 by 700 and the background to change to 50 and then we need to make first uh, the give the stroke weight for all the things which we are going to make in this so I'm going to give the stroke weight of 4 in the setup and then I'm going to make in the function draw our first thing so I don't want uh, the stroke uh, so I'm going to say no stroke here and then I'm going to give it a fill and the fill is red color and then I'm going to make the ellipse which will be the focus point of ours so I'm going to say that is with half and then then height half and then the size of it is going to be 10 out of uh, 10 and 10 in the width and height so this is the point appearing in the middle which is the focus point the next thing we have to make is the for loop and the for loop will make the rest of the things in it so for using the for loop we need a variable of i and uh, i is starting from 15 and uh, I needs to make around 5,000 rings and then I is separated by 15 okay spacing of 15 in it now the next thing we have to do we have to say no fill oh, before that we have to put everything inside the push and the pop since we have to use the translate so we don't want other things, other ellipse to be affected by it. So we are putting it inside the push and the pop. Now we are going to use the translate. And in the translate also, we are going to grip the width and the height. After doing that, the next thing I need to do is I need to uh, say no fill to it because the things objects we are going to use it should not have a fill to it and then I want to give it a stroke and the stroke I'm going to use the I in it so it just starts from 20 then I times 100 and then I plus hmm, let's say minus minus 100 and then after doing that we are going to make our ellipse so ellipse we are going to be making and that ellipse should have the translate origin point so we are going to give it zero and then zero and then we are going to say that i is the width of it and say i is the height of it i'm going to add 20 to it because if we are making an ellipse and if we make a circle it will not su uh, supposed to be moving uh, seems to be moving so I'm going to increase the height of it so it seems to be moving okay you can do in the width as well but it should not be a circle circle have the same width and height that's why I'm changing it okay now the next thing we have to do is let's check these that what we have made so we have made these circles uh, ellipses in fact and uh, you can see there is a red dot in the middle and there there is these ellipses there so let's just for the sake of uh, checking we can do this and check also that what will be the difference it's just the uh, position it's it's now horizontal before that it was vertical nothing else change so you can do anything in that so we can even leave it like that as well it's up to you 
So now let's make the next thing which makes it uh, more uh, nicer. So let's start with a global variable of angle. And angle is starting from zero. And then we have to say that angle in the crawl is going to be incrementing by 0 0.003 or 003 so we can see the effect in that so after doing that we are going to use the rotate function to rotate these rings so to rotate these rings we are going to use the angle which is the basic variable for it and we are going to be saying that we want to add the eye so the angle of every thing will keep on changing as we go along all these rings will have different angles and to speed it up we want it to be let's say two so this is let's indent it properly okay that's all done save the project and after that let's run it and see what we can see as you can see you can see the rings appearing and they are moving and in the editor it seems to be moving very slowly but as we save the project and uh, after saving the project if we share the project so we are able to see on the full screen copy this and on the full screen we can see the rail effect and it's a continuous movement you can see here so in waterfall illusion or the hypnotizing illusion what's happening is that you concentrate on this fixed point and the you have to concentrate for about two minutes and then after two minutes uh, you get to see that the things starts to appear moving away or moving up and down or kind of rays coming out of them it seems to be like that uh, and when you look at it and con while concentrating on the red dot you can also see that when you concentrate on it it seems to be like you are going inside the grid and you can see the rings behind the front grid uh, although there is no two different grids but it's just uh, how it appears when you concentrate and look on it look at it so this is how you make the waterfall illusion and hope you like the project and uh, enjoying uh, making it and sharing with others thanks for watching bye